catch on the ballroom beat. Whoa, 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 catch on the ballroom beat. Got two left feet. Get on the ballroom beat. They're dancing in the street. They're on the ballroom beat. We can tangle, we can swing, we can do anything. Walk in through the door and waltz on the floor. You wanna feel the heat? Get on the ballroom beat. Touch on the ballroom beat. Box trot on the ballroom beat. Sauce on the ballroom beat. Ballroom Beat. I'm your host, Lania Berger, and today we're going to take a look at the best of the beat. We figured what better way to kick off a new year, a new season, than by looking at some of the highlights of 2015. Because after all, On the Ballroom Beat has celebrated its one year anniversary. We started our very first episode back in December of 2014, and this year has been full of some wonderful, wonderful memories that we'd love to take a trip down memory lane with you and look at. And what better way to get started than by remembering some of the dance celebrities who have joined us on the Ballroom Beat. with On the Ballroom Beat, here with Tony Dobawani from Dancing with the Stars. And we just finished seeing Ballroom with a Twist, which was absolutely awesome, by the way. You're incredible. Thank you so much. Every last one so high. Hi, I'm Lania with On the Ballroom Beat. I'm here with Tony Luca, songwriter, singer, recording artist, extraordinaire. Welcome to On the On the Ballroom Beat here with Chelsea Hightower from So You Think You Can Dance and Dancing with the Stars. Welcome to the show, Chelsea. Thank you. On the Ballroom Beat, I'm Lania Berger, your host, and with me today, Katerina Vaganova of So You Think You Can Dance Russia. And as we were talking about earlier, also Dancing with the Stars, Italy and Russia. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, so we were... dance welcome to the show it's good to be here thank you so much i've got to tell you it's very surreal to be sitting next to you i'm a huge fan of the show huge fan of you it's really cool to see you here one of the coolest things for me about being on the ballroom beat is having the opportunity to get to meet and interview some folks that i really admire in the dance and music industry and on our very first episode i had such a chance when i got to interview tony luca now, if you watched season two of The Voice, you'll remember him as one of the top four singers at the end of the series. Uh, he was uh, coached by Adam Levine and was absolutely fantastic. In the 1990s, he was the hunky heartthrob on the new Mickey Mouse Club, followed by Malibu Shores, where he starred alongside Carrie Russell. Well, he's now a singer-songwriter, and I had the opportunity to check in with him for our very first episode of On the Ballroom Beat. That's awesome. Okay, so now I also know that you are, of course, a fabulous singer, but you've been a dancer before. I have danced, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a little about your dance background? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I, I didn't really come through the door as a dancer. That was sort of, of the three, singing, dancing, and acting. Dancing was not my strong suit. Um, my sister showed me a couple of moves <laughs> from my Mickey Mouse Club audition. Um, but once I was in the Mickey Mouse Club, we had a phenomenal choreographer and dancer, a guy named Miles Thorogood, who, <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, like Brittany, Christina, Justin, all of them learned the basics from this guy, and, uh, and I was fortunate enough to be a part of that, that group as well. Um, but it's funny because you said ballroom, <laughs> oh, Nancy, there was a, was a fun fact, I suppose, but there was a, uh, there was a fellow Miles Couture of ours. Uh, named uh, Jason Carson, who had to go by Blaine Carson because uh, there was already a Jason on the show. So uh, apparently Blaine, he was tall, like he was taller than me, and when he was a kid he was taller than most kids, and his 
like he was like a prime football player, kind of athlete guy. And I guess in fifth grade, he told his dad that he no longer wanted to play football because he wanted to take up ballroom dancing. I in fifth grade, that's like, that incredible, right? And his dad was like, okay, ballroom dancing it is. Like what a huge move, because this kid was like, yeah. our house, but like, of course he just was a, you know, big, big handed, finesse, really talented guy. Okay, so Tony, do you think you could say that that helped him get on the Mickey Mouse Club? I would have to go out on a limb and say yes. Had William Carson not taken up bottom dancing, he would have two very large left feet. <laughs> but instead, he learned how to, you know, cut a rug. Do you know any any ballroom dance, any partner dancing, swing dancing, salsa dancing, anything? Honestly, God, I've had more than enough opportunities. I toured with Mark Anthony. Oh, you should. And salsa. I didn't learn salsa. I dated a, a world like, not renowned, but like a, a professional uh, swing dancer for a year and a half, and a couple of years, a couple of years, and I would go with her all the time to the dances, and I'd just be like, I want to do that, but I just can't do that. Okay, so Tony, the next time you're in the area, you're going to come to <laughs> Arthur Murray Palm Harbor and have a dance. Arthur Murray Palm Harbor. There was another Tony that I had the opportunity to interview during episode number nine. A Tony who was a U.S. rhythm champion, a world rhythm champion, had been nominated for an Emmy for Outstanding Choreography. This Tony has been on Dancing with the Stars since season number two. Of course, I am talking about the one and only Tony Dovolani. Tony was kind enough to invite me as his special guest to see his show Ballroom with a Twist that was touring North America. And afterwards, I had the opportunity to catch up with him a little bit and share it with you right here on The Ballroom Beat. Hi, I'm Lania with On The Ballroom Beat, here with Tony Dovolani from Dancing With The Stars. And we just finished seeing Ballroom with a Twist, which was absolutely awesome, by the way. You're incredible. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so you've, you've been on Dancing with the Stars since season two. Yep. All the way through, every single season. Can you tell our viewers, is there anything extra special that's happening in season uh, 20? Well, season 20 is going to be the 10 year anniversary. So it's going to, they're going to, not going to hold anything back. Everything's going to be out there. Every type of dance you could imagine is probably going to be there. They're probably going to throw some twists and turns here and there. So. I think the stars are going to be better as well. Ah, something to look forward to for sure. And can I ask you, one of my favorite moments of season 19 was when um, Betsy Johnson did her foxtrot to Girls Just Want to Have Fun. The transformation was incredible. Now, of course, it's more than just makeup, hair, and costumes. What did you do to make that transformation possible? I had to actually maybe start, you know, making her believe that she's pretty because apparently in the last 40 years, she has never felt pretty. So when I gave her that transformation, she, for the first time, said, this is like, Amazing. I've never felt this pretty in my life, so that was pretty cool. And one last question. Yes. Does Slick Willie mean anything to you? Oh, yeah. That's when I was a bad boy on Shall We Dance. <laughs> <laughs> Shall We Dance, Jennifer Lopez and Richard Gere, you were fantastic. I trained them, yeah. And you trained them. What yeah. was that like? Amazing. They were really talented, amazing actors, obviously, and great dancers. Can I say that you are one of the very friendliest people I've ever met and it's a uh, pleasure, sure pleasure to meet you and thank you again thank for you so uh, treating me and Megan to a fabulous VIP night at Ballroom with a Twist. This is Lania with On the Ballroom Beat saying dance with you later. Episodes 11 and 12 featured some more television dancers. Chelsea Hightower from Dancing with the Stars and So You Think You Can Dance, as well as Ryan DeLillo from So You Think You Can Dance, came into the area for their show, Dancing Pros Live. While they were in the Clearwater area, they came to Arthur Murray Ballroom Dance Studio in Palm Harbor to teach some master workshops. Let's take a look at some highlights of the workshop taught by Chelsea Hightower at the Arthur Murray Dance Studio in Palm Harbor. That's awesome. And you're here at Arthur Murray Palm Harbor to teach a ladies styling workshop. Can you tell us what our ladies can look forward to today? Um, yeah, ladies styling. It's just going to be, um, you know, really focused on, on the women and on our sensuality and everything like that. So. 
So stretching is very important because it helps you be limber, it helps you be flexible while you're dancing, it helps you be more fluid. So we're gonna do some stretches today and I hope you guys all apply it to every single time you dance. Now those that have been here, we get an exception, right? We are. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you're still dancing today. Yeah? Just isolate that right lap. Bring it up even more, even more, even more. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Bring it out to the side and into the foot. Out to the side and in and up and up and down and up and down. That's it. So I want to really activate it. I don't want to just see an inch of movement because who can see that when they're watching you dance? Three, four. So as I'm stretching, watch my lat. It's going to disconnect and then it's going to connect. And then I'm going to disconnect and connect. So my lat is going up and down. Up and down. On this part, I want this to look sexy. On this part, I want this to look fun. Whatever that is, you can start breaking down your routines and feeling different emotions throughout the routine. So you're seeing the highs and the lows. Yeah, you're seeing the soft moments and the hard moments. You see the dynamics within the routine. Now, I happen to know that when you were younger, as a fan of So You Think You Can Dance, I particularly enjoyed the pop quiz that Ryan DeLillo took. That's when I gave him a name of a choreographer or judge from the show, and he told me the first thing that popped into his mind. Take a look. Okay, so um, we're going to do pop quiz with you too. Okay. And your pop quiz is I'm going to say the choreographers that you worked with on So You Think You Can Dance, and you're going to say the first word that comes into your mind for them. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Miriam Larici and Leonardo Barrio Nuevo. Passion. Lil C. Um, buck. <laughs> Good one. I was wondering if you'd make a word up for that. <laughs> like that was fatalistic. Um, Travis Wall. Um, Young genius. I agree. I agree. Okay. Spencer Lit. Uh, happy. Smiley. He is. He is. Tabitha and Napoleon. Um, super, super fun to work with. One of probably the funnest to work with. Were they your favorite to work with? I would say they were the funnest. They were, I, 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 my, I had favorites in, in everyone, such as Miriam and, and Leonardo, the passion that they have. But, uh, I would say uh, in terms of just having fun while you're working, like the whole time, like laughing, definitely them. That's awesome. You know, we had Miriam and Leo here at the studio. What a treat. Like they are amazing, incredible, incredible. I've, I got to work with them this last season, again, uh, as an all-star dancing a tango with Tanisha Belknap. So I uh, love working with them. Are anyway. you going to be an all-star again this year? Please say yes. We do not know until literally like five days before. Yeah, we, we have no um, warning or anything. Um, they let us know literally the week before. And uh, so they say, drop everything and come. <laughs> so I had to cancel a show this last year Yeah, and find a partner. Um, actually, my little brother, who's an incredible dancer, was Jenna Johnson's former partner. Auditioned with Jenna Johnson, if you go back and watch, um, that's my brother. His name's Landon Anderson. We, we um, are half-brothers. And uh, he ended up dancing with Ashley in the show while I went and did the all-star thing, so. Well, my fingers are crossed that you're back again this summer. Okay, one more name to throw out to you, Nigel Lithgow. Um, oh, I don't know what to say, yeah. <laughs> um, you know what, he is a true gentleman. He's a true gentleman. Because the whole, the whole thing that happened with Ashley where she had her um, rotator cuff injury, her, her shoulder got um, dislocated. He fought for her to be able to stay. Um, legally, they weren't supposed to allow it, and he went to bat for her and made sure that um, America could still vote for Ashley and, and put her in the finale. So, yeah. Awesome. Ryan, thank you so much for joining us on the Ballroom Beat. It was such a pleasure. The girls are. Everyone's story is different, so why be limited to just one or two options? With Norcom's Norflex Home Loan, you're given the flexibility to tell your story. 
Pick your terms from 8 to 30 years, all while maintaining a low, fixed mortgage rate. You can pay off your loan more quickly or choose a term based on your budget and timeline. Whatever you do with the Norflex Home Loan, make it part of your financial plan. Norflex. Short-term, long-term, your terms. Apply online at norcommortgage.com. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Benatti created, perfected, and patented the Benatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Benatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Benatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Benatti succeeds where others fail. Beltran Dental Surgery is dedicated to providing the highest quality dental surgery. Teeth in a Day allows a patient to walk in with their old teeth, sleep under IV sedation, and walk out with a brand new smile. Unlike dentures, Teeth in a Day allows you to eat what you want and still feel like you have your own teeth. From wisdom teeth removal to implants or creating a whole new smile, call now or visit our website to learn more about our procedures. Get a brand new smile today. My name is Dr. Bezerra from New Tampa Pediatric Dental, providing a comfortable atmosphere in early dental care. Gives kids a great start for healthy teeth and gums for life. My middle son did not like to come to the dentist, but now he loves to come to the Beehive. You don't have to be afraid to go to the dentist. Believe me, Dr. B and his worker bees are the best. Call New Tampa Pediatric Dental today. Welcome back to On the Ballroom Beat. Today we're looking at the best of the beat as we celebrate one year on the air right here on the Ballroom Beat. Now during the first half of our show we were looking at some of the television dance stars that have been on the Ballroom Beat, but let's not forget where ballroom dancing gets started and that's right on the dance floor. Here at On the Ballroom Beat we have also had the privilege of interviewing some former champions as well as future champions. Let's take a look. wonderful opportunity of being here with Johnny and Sarah. They were tonight's smooth champions at the Funorama 2015. Congratulations, you two. Thank you. you guys are stupendous dancers, and I've got to tell you, what I think makes you really unique on the floor is the depth to your performance. There's just so much stretch and so much character and so much connection. How do you work toward that in your partnership? Taking risks. Um, we train with Ina Nartem out of Scottsdale, and we do a lot of weighted connections. And we've had a lot of people tell us if you're not falling down in practice, you're really not going as far as you can. That's a good tip. Um, so not being afraid to fall and just kind of going for it, I guess. Just taking a risk, not being safe with it. <laughs> Bye. 
Ballroom Beat with Lania Berger, and I am here today with the lovely and marvelous Patty Contenta, a traveling consultant for Arthur Murray International, wonderful coach, and a published author. Welcome to On the Ballroom Beat. Thank you for having me, Lania. It's great to be here. My pleasure. I'm so excited to have you here in Palm Harbor. You've been here coaching for the past couple days and, uh, and here on the Ballroom Beat. So let's start by talking just a little bit about what a traveling coach, traveling consultant does. Well, we're like the third set of eyes, if you will, where we're able to kind of observe what's been going on in the lessons. And ultimately, we're always in sync with what the teacher's been telling the student. It's really new, specific information, but often it's our tone or perhaps the different words that we may use that could influence the kind of result that maybe the teacher's looking for from the student. You show a leg line before you walk back. So I would go leg, then step, leg. So it's rarely something that's kind of like, wow, I never heard that before. It's usually just we enhance what the teacher's already been saying. And sometimes it's just a different voice or coming from a different perspective from a different gender. So sometimes the way a woman approaches something compared to a male is different too. So it's all those things that influence why you would have a coach come on a lesson to kind of observe and give the same kind of information the teacher's giving but a little bit more enhanced because it's a different tone, different words, and a different gender this kind of Hi, I'm Lania with On the Ballroom Beat, and I am here with Phonorama's rhythm champions, Frankie Delagula and Anastasia. Say your name once more. Abramenko. Abramenko. And they were the rhythm champions tonight. Congratulations, you guys. Thank you. Yeah. You were out of this world. So I've got to ask you, I've heard a lot of people talking about how your mambo is just absolutely <laughs> like a standout, just spectacular mambo. Is it your favorite dance? It is my favorite dance. It, it is. is. <laughs> it's been doing it for a while, so yes. And what makes it your favorite? I don't know. I'm going to be in Spanish, the whole stuff thing, and that's just, that's just wonderful. I feel it. It comes to it. natural. Hello and welcome to On the Ballroom Beat. I'm your host, Lania Berger, and with me today we have the wonderful delight of having Stephen Smith, who is a nine dance finalist, a uh, U.S. nine dance finalist, mm -hmm. right here on the Ballroom Beat with us. Welcome, Stephen. Thank you. It's so great to have you on the show. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> so I wanted to talk to you first a little bit about how you got started in dancing, because it's not always been ballroom, am I right? No, I actually started out dancing more in musical theater. Oh. When I was about 13 in school, one of my friends had actually said to me about um, taking part in the school play. That's, that's what they called it. And um, he had asked me would I go to the auditions with him, and I was like, sure. And I'd never really danced before or never really done anything. But I went to the audition, and I really enjoyed it. And from there, I, I, I just got into it. I didn't realize you were a musical theater yeah, person. That's, that's how awesome. it all began. That is so cool. And now you grew up in Belfast, Ireland, is that right? That's right. And so this is all happening in Ireland. And, and tell us uh, some of the highlights, some of your favorite shows that you did. Um, well, I had the school shows, and then from there I got involved in community theater. Mm -hmm. So um, some of the shows I done with community theater were things like Oliver, um, Grease, Oklahoma, A Chorus Line. Oh, you did some really great ones. Really good shows. Do you have a favorite? I really liked the chorus line because I fell in love with the dancing more than the singing and acting. Mm -hmm. And um, that was all dance oriented. Every Here at On the Ballroom Beat, we also enjoy celebrating dancing that happens on stage. And during our second episode, I had the opportunity to chat with Amanda Lee Cobb, who played Baby on the first North American tour of Dirty Dancing. Let's take a look at her interview. Lania with On the Ballroom Beat, and with me today we have the lovely Amanda Lee Cobb. Welcome to the show, Amanda. Thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure to be here. Now, Amanda Lee Cobb was the original baby on the North American tour of Dirty Dancing Live on Stage. Amanda, what was it like to bring that iconic role to life? Well, I'm not going to say it was easy. It was certainly a challenge, but I will say it was the most fun I've ever had. 
That's incredible. Now, when you were researching the role to prepare for it, did you watch Dirty Dancing a lot? Did you watch it a little? You know, I actually did not watch it a lot. It's a funny story. I went into audition for the role, never thinking in a million years that I would actually get it. And uh, when they offered me the part, I thought I should probably rewatch this movie that I remembered but hadn't seen in a really long time. So uh, my boyfriend at the time and I, he had a VHS player. I still had it on VHS. I dug it out. We popped it in. And uh, we had a ball rewatching it. I would have to pause every once in a while and kind of shake my head and, and, and freak out a little bit that I was about to embark on this. Um, and then, you know, we'd press play again and keep watching it some more. After that, though, I put it away and I didn't rewatch the movie at all during the entire rehearsal process or even during the year that we were performing because I wanted to kind of bring myself to the role and keep it fresh. And I didn't want to feel like I was trying to imitate Jennifer Grey. So I put it away and just kind of hoped for the best with my interpretation, I guess. We also covered the tour of Anything Goes. It was so much fun to bring that great music and dancing to my viewers right here on the Ballroom Beat. Highlight of 2015 comes from perhaps the coolest show that I got to see and review this year, which was Move Live on Tour with Derek and Julianne Huff from Dancing with the Stars. Let's take a look.
taking that trip down memory lane with me. Hope you enjoyed the best of the beat today, and I look forward to having you join us during our second season of On the Ballroom Beat. You'll definitely want to tune in next week as we take a look at some of the highlights of the Washington National dance rama a ballroom dance competition that took place in our nation's capital. And the following week, you'll want to tune in as well as we take you backstage on Broadway at Finding Neverland. You won't want to miss it. We'll see you next time on The Ballroom Beat. Cha-cha on The Ballroom Beat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cha-cha on The Ballroom Beat. Got two left feet. Get on the ballroom beat. They're dancing in the street. They're on the ballroom beat. We can tangle, we can swing, we can do anything. Walking through the door and waltz on the floor. You wanna feel the heat? Get on the ballroom beat. Cha-cha on the ballroom beat Foxtrot on the ballroom beat Salsa on the ballroom beat Cha-cha on the ballroom beat